Cousin Jim. I'm down here in uh, Isla Mirada, Florida. I'm at Kill Shot Spear Guns. They have moved into this building. They were here and now they've moved over here in a little larger building. And as always with um, spear guns, your bands last about a year before the, before the sun and weather gets to them. Ed here has a really nice facility. I figured, you know, you can buy a lot of this equipment in a lot of different places, but you should come right down here to the experts. Come, come and see Ed, and he will set you up. He custom builds spear guns here. He also sells other people's brands. We got some Koas and some Cressies. But then over here, this is the custom stuff that he is building. And I don't know. Look at the engraving on these guys. Sure looks good. He, um, he's been here for several years, but this new shop he moved into just two months ago. And he's got somebody new behind the counter here. What's your name, buddy? I'm Doug. You're Doug. All right. So Doug is helping me out. These are two of my guns that I brought in today. <laughs> All of us spear fishermen are, have way too many guns. Just like when we're fishing, we have way too many fishing rods. It, but no such thing that's true there's no such <laughs> thing it keeps us going you re replaced this one yeah another one correct yeah absolutely we're actually we're going to drop a couple on here okay i just need to be able to pull it because it's a little tight and so looks like he's now got oh is, you guys are doing classes here, Doug? Yes, sir. All right, I've got the free diving level one certification. Spear fishing classes, 400 per person. Can you tell me about that? Um, we do a little bit of uh, free diving and spear fishing all mixed together. We teach you about gun safety, fish identification, a little bit about the boating safety, getting in and out of the boat with the weapon and stuff like that. And then we take you out and show you how to shoot some fish. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I yeah. Uh, Ed and I, we actually spearfished together maybe four or five years ago now. You know, he, he probably doesn't remember, but because he's the owner of the shop, I remember. And um, I uh, had Ed and a couple other buddies go out, and these other guys, they almost ruined the day for us because they couldn't, they couldn't free dive, they couldn't hold their breath. They were, you know, not people I wanted to be spearfishing with. But I wanted to spear fish more with Ed. It just didn't ever work out. Yeah. So I just might have to uh, see what we can do here on setting me up with a new gun. Just because <laughs> you can never have too many. The, um, been, haven't been uh, shooting my pole spear, but when I go over to the Bahamas, that's all I take because you cannot use a triggered gun over there. But if you need tips and pole spears and all kinds of stuff, he's got fins. Um, these actually take the carbon fiber blades on them. New snorkels. Yeah, great little shop here. So, come on down. When you're in the Florida Keys, come by Kill Shot Spear Guns. Say hi to Doug. Say hi to Ed. And uh, just enjoy. Nice little shop here. All right, so this is Ed of Kill Shot Spear Guns. Custom making guns here in the Keys. So if you need anything in dive equipment, for free diving, spear fishing, this is the place to come. Um, oh, I just did that, not Ed. I just, um, I just tried a loading tab. I just, I touched it, of course, and, and it over it went. Yeah. So he is putting a loading tab on my gun, and I just used 
used one in his shop. I never ever tried one before. I'm starting to have troubles pulling my bands. Loaded it at halfway, able to put it on my chest and pull it the rest of the way. Just like I used to do when I was young. Because I used to just put it on my chest and pull it. Makes a huge difference. Makes a huge difference. So. Okay. So you've been in this new shop for two months. Yep. And how long have you been doing classes and stuff? Because um, I haven't been in your shop in five years, Ed. So oh, I'm sorry about that. No, no problem. Um, we've been doing classes. It, it depends. Two years. Four, four years for freediving classes. Two years for spearfishing classes. So, but it's also been kind of on and off again because I had some problem with staff for a little while. So, um, I think <laughs> thank we, you, COVID. Well, you know, that's how it goes. Yep. So, um, I think we've got all that figured out at this point. So we're able to do stuff more regularly than we were in the past. Okay. And anybody that knows the Florida Keys, I mean, staffing is always, it's always an issue for everybody. Yes, so. it is. So is this the first one you've ever done? First, first one of these, yeah. <laughs> okay. And you've been building spear guns for how long? Um, twelve years, something like that. Okay. Yeah, I think I think about twelve years. Yeah, it's, it's five six years ago. You went with me one day, and I had a couple other guys that made the day miserable that couldn't hold their breath and yeah. stuff, and. That was like, well, you know what you got. That's that's how it is sometimes. That's how it is sometimes. But so I'm going to get reacquainted with Ed here. Might even pick up one of his uh, custom-built kill shot guns. I just need to get in the water and start holding my breath again. Yep. So are are you going to do any level two classes? Um, I've got an instructor that I work with for that. Okay. To be quite honest, during the summer I just don't have time. Oh. to walk out and, and shut the shop down for half a day to, to go teach Do students in the morning. Okay. So I'm going to make a little bit of noise. No problem. We'll, we'll pick it all up. Safety first. Absolutely. He's got safety glasses, ear protection. It walked on me. I think we can make that work i think you can make that work looks good so anyways just like i told you people deal with the local people here yeah there's big shops and you can get equipment there but if you support the little guy it helps down here in the keys keeps them in business that's what we like all the locals come on down see ed here at kill shot spear guns i'm gonna run that way I hope the sun comes out so I can try this this afternoon. Well, it'd be nice to have the sun out, period. So, digging that. Oh. Now we're gonna put a little bit, this is this is actually just resin from epoxy. There's no catalyst in it, so it never hardens. It's kind of like, we're just putting a little bit of sap in the hole, if you will. Okay. And it'll help to waterproof and keep this thing from rotting. That's what we like. Yep. The nicest piece on the gun now. There we go. 